Hello friends, I am Dr. Bhupendra Kumar Verma, Assistant Professor in Biyani Group of Colleges. Today I deliver lecture on freshwater ecosystem. So first of all, we know about the freshwater ecosystem. There is two, two terms, one is freshwater and another one is the ecosystem. What is the freshwater? And what is the ecosystem? Both are two different terms. Fresh water means water have low concentration of salt. Salt means NaCl, CaCl, KCl, all of. And ecosystem. Ecosystem is the interaction between abiotic and biotic factors interaction between first of all we know about the abiotic and biotic factors what is the abiotic factors and what is the biotic factors abiotic factors is that There are a lot of abiotic factor. One is physical factor like that uh, light, temperature, water current, etc. Another factor is inorganic factor like that elements nitrogen phosphate silicon sulfur boron carbon calcium magnesium etc and another factor is the organic factor like that carbon and alcohol etc these are the abiotic factors and the biotic factors biotic factors is that is animals and plants so the fresh water ecosystem is that the interaction between abiotic factors like the physical and chemical like that inorganic organic and biotic factors in the fresh water that is called the fresh water ecosystems which is type of freshwater ecosystem mainly two types of the freshwater ecosystem one is lentic ecosystem and second one is lotic ecosystem lentic ecosystem means ecosystem of stable water bodies or stagnant water bodies in which the flow of water become stable for examples lake pond etc and the lotic ecosystem is that the ecosystem in flow water bodies like that rivers streams springs 
so we can studies the interaction in lentic as well as lotic ecosystem so another is thing the what is the lake and what is the pond so lake and pond the difference between and lake and pond is that we can compare the lake and ponds on the basis of on their zonation these are the simple diagram of lake and ponds there are three zones present in lake littoral zone limnatic zone and benthic zone same as in pond littoral zone limnatic zone and benthic zone the difference is that as we compare in lakes and ponds these two diagram illustrate the difference between lake and ponds we can see the depth of lake is high as compared to the ponds because pond are very shallow as compared to the lake the another difference is that the littoral zone of lake is not productive while the littoral zone of ponds is very productive as compared to the lake but in case of the lake the limnatic zone is productive because the productivity of this lake is more in the limnatic zones as compared to the ponds because the rooted plants phytoplanktons are mainly present in ponds in littoral zones while in case of the lake the rooted plants and the number of the phytoplanktons mainly lower in case of uh, uh, littoral zone as well as high in case of the limnatic zones so the difference is mainly on the basis of the depth as well as the zonation these are the simple zone benthic zones a uh, zonation of the lentic water bodies on the basis of productivity the lake further categorized into eutrophic lake mesotrophic lake oligotrophic lake and dystrophic lake in eutrophic lake the diversity of animals is very low as compared to the mesotrophic but in case of the diversity of animals is high as compared to the eutrophic and oligotrophic lake and also the dystrophic lake the bod in these water bodies become low due to the presence of microbial fauna but in case of the mesotrophic lake the bod become balanced due to the balanced biodiversity of animals and phytoplankton also but in case of the oligotrophic lake the bod is very low because of the absence of microbial fauna or low density and diversity of the microbial fauna the do in eutrophic lake is also low because of the presence of high microbial fauna and animals also but in case of the mesotrophic lake the do become in balance concentration while in case of the oligotrophic lake the do become high because of the absence of microbial fauna the concentration of carbonic matter is high in the eutrophic lake while moderate in mesotrophic lake and very low in oligotrophic lake the eutrophic lake become defined on the basis of productivity 
here the productivity is high because of the alga present in higher numbers while in case of the mesotrophic lake the productivity become low as compared to the eutrophic lake because the balance phytoplanktons or alga are present while in case of the oligotrophic lake there is little alga fauna or phytoplanktons are present so the organic matter synthesis is more in the eutrophic lake as compared to the uh, mesotrophic and oligotrophic lake while in case of the dystrophic lake there are a lot of the organic matter is present inside this lake and it also found in the humic form this is that on the basis of light intensity on the basis of light intensity the lake and pond further categorize in the different zone one zone is the photic zone and second one is the profundal zone and third one is the aphotic zone <laughs> in the photic zone light is proper see above the below the 50 meters while in case of the profundal zone light is very low but light may be diffuse at the 200 meters and above the 200 meters the zone is called the aphotic zone where the light is become low or absent next one is the on the basis of light penetration on the basis of light penetration there are the four zones one is the littoral zone and second one is the limnitic zone and third one is the profundal zone and fourth one is the benthic zone in the littoral zone the light is proper and the rooted plant is present so the respiration rate is high sorry photosynthesis rate is high while respiration rate is low so the p oblique r ratio is more than 1 because plants and phytoplankton are so present in plenty of number as compared to the animals so the p oblique r ratio is more than 1 but in case of the limnitic zone here the p oblique r ratio is equal to 1 because of the photosynthesis rate balance the respiration rate here the phytoplankton is present so they can synthesize the organic matters by the process of photosynthesis and the animals respires also plant respires so the photosynthesis and respiration become equal to the one but in case of the profundal zone here the photosynthesis rate become low as compared to the respiration so the photosynthesis oblique respiration ratio is less than one so the p oblique r ratio is less than one but in case of the benthic zone here the light is become low or absent so the photosynthesis rate is not further go in a proper way so the p oblique r ratio is below 0 or equal to 0 the another basis is the temperature on the basis of temperature there are the three zones in the lakes or pond one is the epilimnion second one is the mesolimnion and third one is the hypolimnion in the epilimnion the temperature become uniform but in case of the mesolimnion it is present in between the hypolimnion and epilimnion the temperature become decrease in a steep manner like that so the point where the temperature decrease is called the compensation point
and in case of the hypolimnium temperature is very low and absent also so this is the generation on the basis of the temperature please like comments share this video and subscribe our youtube channels thank you